In this video I'm going to show the basics of starting an audio recording using the Sension 909X2 and the DAR101 audio recorder from Sension. And to do this we are going to need the audio cables. So now I'm going to explain how the automatic start of audio recording works with the DAR101. So the DAR101 has several connectors, some on its front side for the microphones, the external microphones. There is this switch here. Let me see if I can adjust the focus a little bit, maybe something like this. Let's see if it works. And perhaps it's a bit better. And we have the modes. We need to be in the music mode, which has this cassette tape here in the middle. We have the voice mode and the telephone mode to the left and right, so we, this selector needs to be in the middle. <coughs> and on the back we have several connectors. Uh, the remote connector is the one... Let me see if I can set up the focus a bit better. Mm, it's not focusing like that good. Uh, the remote connector is the one which we are going to use, and also the line in here. So for line in, we just use the normal stereo audio cable, 3.5 millimeters, we plug it in, and that's it for the line in. For, for the remote, we are now going to take a look at what we have on the remote connector, and uh, we are going to see uh, how remote start works. So, I have another cable here. It has 3.5 connector on one end and 2.5 millimeter connector on the other end. We'll get back to this a bit later. So now I'm just going to connect it to the remote. And we are going to take a look at what we have on the other end. So let's take a look with the voltmeter. Ground goes to the sleeve and positive to the tip and we have 4.1 volts here so this is the indication of what we may need to do now let's see if we short it if anything happens i'll just use the amperimeter mode for this So the recorder started turning on and then it stopped. And we have 42 micro amperes going through uh, the connector. So this is something interesting. We just now turn it on. It's in the music mode. It is now reading the card. And now we need to do a bit of configuration. So we can go into the menu menu, record setup, enter, and now there is this option called record standby. We will turn it on. Okay, we can come out of the menu. We can also take a look at the record options we have. We have a source button here, so we can, in theory, it should switch between the line and the microphone, but it does nothing right now, I don't know why. But in any case, we need to have it in the line mode. And now let's start this again. And now it's starting to record. I just left the switch. Uh, so now, now it is recording. We see the record icon to the left of, left of the time and it's just recording and now when I move the pin away from the tip it's saving and it stopped recording. So now it is back in the... switching back to the playback mode. So now we could press the play button to start to hear the recording or not because there is nothing to hear but what is also interesting is we can turn it off so it's powering off, and even if it is off, we can still start it by shorting 
Dayım olacak. So without the standby, the screen just flashed. It started putting and ended, but now it put it up and started recording. And now we can see the recording as it is running. So I will stop the recording again. It is saving. So now this already tells us a little bit about what we expect to see on the radio side. And keep in mind that uh, if the recorder is off and it gets triggered, it takes a little bit for it to put up and then start the recording. Just something to keep in mind when you are deciding if you are going to leave the recorder on or off before starting the recording. Now that we configured the audio recorder to automatically start recording, let's see what we need to do on the radio side to trigger the recorder so that it actually starts recording. Well, first of all, we need this cable going from the line in of the recorder. It goes to the line out of the radio. This part is simple. So, and then we also have the remote cable, which goes to the standby port on the radio. Now, I don't know if this is an issue with the radio or with my cable, but for some reason, if I plug the cable in completely, it doesn't work. I have to leave a small gap, something like, something like this. So you can see here, it could be that I'm using a stereo cable and that they perhaps expected a mono cable to be used or something like that. In any case, if I plug my cable in fully, uh, it doesn't work. So I just plug it in almost completely. There is a couple of millimeters here of space. And let's hope that this is an issue with my cable and not with the radio. And now let's take a look at the radio. The radio is off. We have time 1330. And first of all, we need to set up an alarm. We have three timers here, one, two, three. And we just select one timer by pressing its numbers. Let's say the timer number one. Now we have the timer number one flashing here. We have a little note icon. We can switch between the buzzer, which we have now, and the note uh, using the SSB button here, which also has a bell and a note above it to tell us that we can switch here. And in the buzzer mode, the radio just buzzes. And in the note mode, the radio actually uses a radio station as a source of the audio to, well, wake you up. That's the intended use. Next step, once we have configured this, we need to configure the time. So let's say 1332, 1332 and press enter. Now we can wait a little bit and the radio will start. Uh, I lower the volume on the radio and on the audio recorder I set it to, let's say, can you see it? It's not completely down, it's something like this, maybe 15%. And let's just see what happens in a minute or so. This should be interesting. This here is flashing. We are now in the recording mode. And we are recording. Uh, and as we are recording, and this here is flashing, we now are getting the audio from the line in. And now this here is the tricky part in the manual of the radio, because it doesn't seem there, there doesn't seem to be a way to program for how long this recording will last. We can turn off the alarm by pressing the power button. And now this is off and the recording ended. We can hear it by turning up the volume and pressing play. And so on. And the radio manual states 
that's the wake up system will last for one hour when you turn it on and that's it so there doesn't seem to be a way to turn off the recording on the actual recorder which is a pity in some cases if we want to record for more than an hour or if we want to record for the 30 minutes which are popular on the short wave uh, and <coughs> now I'll explain how to actually adjust the frequency which we used for recording on the radio. So now that we know how to start radio with a timer and how to start the recorder using the remote port, let's take a look at how we can select the frequency which we want to use. The procedure isn't all that complicated, but it can be sometimes a bit confusing. And I'm not all that happy with the explanation in the, in the manual. It could have been perhaps a bit longer and clearer. It's a bit short, but it actually works. So what we are going to do now is I am just going to go to some random shortwave frequency because this radio is of particular interest to shortwave listeners. Let's say, I don't know, 14350. Okay, now I need to associate this frequency with the timer. So I press the M button, the memo is flashing, and I press the timer button. And now I'm going to change the frequency and go back to the timer. And we see that the frequency which we selected is saved to the, to the timer. So when the timer triggers, it will go to this fre frequency. We could have also selected a frequency from the memories and the pages and so on. That also works. Now let's say select mem uh, page one, memory one. I have something here recorded and now we can just do the same thing as before, press the M. Now the number and the page are flashing and I just select timer. And now when I go to memory number two and select the timer again, I have the memory from the timer saved. So that's also the way it works. You can of, of course use other bands as well. I can just go back to the FM where I was initially and then just select some other frequency and then press memory button memo is flashing, press timer button and now I'm in that I have that frequency in the timer here so that's how we choose the frequency and that's more or less that for the basics of radio use so what we still have is this limitation of one hour which is actually a bit annoying especially if you want to do multiple recordings because in theory you can have three alarms and then do three recordings with the radio in one night while you are sleeping you could save three different stations and that's sort of okay but this issue of one hour is a bit annoying one other thing which could be done but then you cannot change the frequency is to use uh, timers on the recorder we press, uh, press this button which has a clock and a recorder on it and then we have timer recording and we have start and stop you just see how to select this once again timer record mode off record time record sol source so we can say record time then we can set the start time pretty precisely say something then we have the stop time we can also adjust it quite nicely then we have record source microphone or line and then we can say if you want to have it off once or daily I'll just set it to off because I don't want to actually record right now so we can go back and exit this mode however the issue with this is the recorder cannot trigger the radio so it will not start the radio you have to have the radio running in the background and uh, you cannot choose the frequency on the radio so 
these are the downsides which makes this entire feature a bit annoying. I think that with a little bit of extra work on Sentient's side it could have been a bit better if they let us just adjust the stop option on the radio so that we could actually choose for how long we want to have the alarm on. That would have made the entire thing much easier and could have provided us with quite a bit more flexibility. And another issue with this whole setup is that basically the recorder manual says read the radio manual to figure out how to start recording and the radio manual says well you need to read the recorder manual and there is the model number of the recorder as a recommended unit in the radio manual so they are basically shifting the, resp the responsibility for the actual adjustments to from one another for example this very important option of record standby i found it on the universal radios website which has a step-by-step -step guide for a Sony radio on how to do this, which is actually a bit better than what the Sension is offering, because on the so that Sony unit uh, you can actually set the stop time as well. So um, this is sort of interesting, but could have also been better. One thing which some people may ask is, do I actually need to have the speakers on to do the recording and the answer is no. Uh, the line out here is not connected to the speaker volume and is not affected by the tone changes which we have here. So we have three filters here, news, normal and music. They do not work for the line out. So you do not need to listen to, to to the radio to actually be able to record it. So if you want to do it while you're sleeping for exactly one hour, it's possible. It's also a bit annoying that you cannot adjust the time because we have those 30 minute slots on the shortwave. And uh, if you want to be sure that everything is going to be okay and that you're not going to miss the start, you may want to start recording say one minute before the actual start of the program. And then you would have the time for the radio to boot, for the recorder to boot even if it is completely, completely off, uh, but then you may miss the last minute of the program and so on. So this uh, is an interesting option, but I think that it is lacking a bit of flexibility, which could have been uh, there if the radio could actually control the moment when you turn the recorder off. And it doesn't seem that you can do that. And also, in the case you want to get rid of a timer, so you set up your recording and you don't need it anymore, you press the timer, and then you have this C button, and now it's gone. So you do not, So now you, you can set up other timers, and this one will not re reoccur every day if you don't need it. So this is more or less it for uh, this video. Uh, this is with the version number. Let me just see if I can open the menu and show you the version number. Uh, yeah, this is the version number 170 for the firmware and the manufacturing date is 2020-10, so 10th month of 2020. Uh, I'm quite interested in seeing if the engine is going to make any improvements in this in the upcoming firmware release for this radio, which should come out in March or, or April or something like that, or at least that's what voices on the internet say. I haven't heard anything official, but it would have been really good if they would provide the feature to control the length of the recording. That would have made the whole thing much simpler, but uh, you'll just have to wait and see.